Well, welcome to the evolution working group meeting uh, for October 19th. And <clears throat> paste the meeting minutes in the chat. Congratulations on the release, everybody. Huge, huge win. But I think that also means there's some pull requests we can process now. Is that right, Kevin? We can do pull request processing. Yeah, we can <clears throat> do anything we want. I think we just have a we have a name change that's occurring. Yes. I think that's the only uh, pull request we were waiting on. Yep. I think you are correct. A quick question for everyone. After the change from the master to main, did you all have to repoke the repositories because I faced that issue? We pull like it. My, like when when we change, uh, I created a port <clears throat> before the name change the, from master to main. That should have been and, fine. Yeah, but now I have to, uh, I had to delete my fork and recreate a fork because it was not picking the uh, main. That you shouldn't have to that. Uh... If you created a fork, it should be the fork should still be there. What was the name of your fork? So the fork was same. Like I cannot edit the fork because the fork was linking to the master master fork uh, branches is still with the chaos repos. It's really you have to bad. change. You have to change your fork to main as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I cannot edit the fork on uh, user interface. Oh, it's like, a it's a fork, not a branch. Okay. Yeah. Um, so so my fork was pointing to the master rather than the main branch. Yeah, you what you can do in a fork is just create a new branch in your fork called main off of master. Okay. Within your fork. Yeah. And then. What what so I did, you, I deleted the fork and re, recreated a sure. fork with the main. Yeah, that if you didn't have out. any edits or open pull requests, then yep. um, and then if you're if you're if you have a local clone on your machine, you just have to run some code to uh, to update yep. it. That's just that's it's basically changing your 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 branch to main. So yep. right. so now there's a command. There's an issue with code changes. So the only uh, the only repo that had an issue with that, by the way, Vinod, was common. Oh, so okay. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else is having that issue. I, uh, as far as the release goes, uh, I looked, and common was the only one that was having the problem. On the other hand, common appears to be the only one that made any edits as well. So, uh, so I hope all of our metrics are good. Uh, yeah, right now what I'm doing, it looks like there's some issues with, um, there's a conflict. Um, in the, in the branch. So I will go about editing that while we're doing that. Um, You're talking code change commits? Yep. Yeah, there's a, I have to see what the conflict is, <clears throat> which is uh, not very hard, but it still, it still has to be done. Hit repository. Which branch? Get rid of some of these old branches. Huh. Well, it doesn't indicate there's a conflict locally. <laughs> so it might just be auto generating a conflict. 
when we because we changed the branch name is all I can think of because when I'm doing the I'll show you here <coughs> you're a different screen so if there was an actual conflict, my local merge tool would show that conflict, but there is not. So the only reason I can think that a conflict could be existent in existence is the branch name change. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna merge this because this is what we talked about and we're holding off on. Unless there is any objection, you can see the changes on the right. We just added the word commits throughout it's like the title in four other places. Right. Still good with this, everybody? Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. And that should have, all right. Yes, it auto closed that per pull request, <clears throat> which is what I expected. <clears throat> Looks like Georg has fixed name issues new. I mean, we call it issues new. Um, that's what it's been published as. I don't understand yours. Uh, if you look at the if you look at the metric markdown file, uh -huh. yeah. you'll you'll see that on the metric markdown file it's called new issues. So his edit changes the. Oh, I see. Um, he's changing it from new issues to issues new. Yeah, which is which How's is that published. How's it? Well, how's it been? How's it, how's it been published on the website, though? I'm sure it's probably sure. published as issues new. Um, I'm assuming taking it from the markdown. I wouldn't be so. I am not so certain. Oops. <clears throat> Oops. What did I do here? I have no idea what that was. Did you figure out the navigation stuff, Kevin? The uh, the hot link stuff, or is that still? No, no. So yeah, I just that's so weird. I, so I removed it, so no one, so people would stop complaining about it to me. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm gonna put it back in. Uh, so I I've it's got published. A, it's published as issues new. Yep. So how it's okay. just the it's just the header. The header was the header was incorrect. The name of the metric was issues new. Yeah, but okay. the name of the so the the name of I the see. uh uh all right. Okay. I am markdown can, file is issues new. I see the so, issue now. I don't know how that ever passed muster, but very good. It would have been it would have been probably one of the early metrics we did. And it's it was probably before we realized the, we had a naming convention. Yeah, it was certainly one of the first metrics released. <clears throat> well, add reactions one is one that we're gonna ponder over the course of the next metrics development cycle. Yeah. Um, so I had an action item to talk to Remy, and I did. Mm -hmm. And um, does he seem interested? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I will um, get him involved in this until I talk to him next Monday. So we'll talk about it then and maybe I'll get him to come to the meeting, the next meeting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Should so, we create a, uh, should we create a, uh, an issue for the name? OG reactions. Oh, I, yeah, I think that would be our convention, right? Uh, so it's a little bit, uh, is it a metrics release question or issue, or is it? Um, so it would are be we, an interim release, or I mean, or I guess the question is, we talked about this at LinkedIn in one of the community meetings, and I think we, I think we agreed we could just release stuff like this at our discretion. 
like it's this, a it's this a does really not, small edit yeah this neither of the two changes that we've merged reflect material differences in the metrics yeah and i would my assessment would be that there could be no i mean i can't imagine what the objection from the community would be yeah. for either so for, of these changes. for the one that for the one that georg did i don't mm -hmm. believe that a uh that we need to do anything on the release i think we're probably fine because well, i don't think we need to uncode changes commits either because we discussed it at length in a couple of community meetings yeah that, that one's a over little the summer and it's I mean, not we, a, it's not we, a drastic change we either. brought it's this just, to the uh, community and this was like a topic of discussion in the community meeting over the summer yeah like this has been deeply pondered and discussed like a lot of time has been spent on it i my assessment is we don't need to run it through additional processes it, it would be in my opinion like bringing up something that we've already resolved through the community meeting and that would i mean we're create we would be creating work for the community and i don't necessarily think that it would so, so my, my general thought is if it if it has to go to if it has to go to the translations repo yes then maybe it should go through the whole process well you uh, have to go through the translations repo as well what's that i said gears would have to go through the translations repo as well it's, it's... so what would what's the process for sending these edits to the translations repo if we don't send it through uh review right so we we've, we've I mean, defined we've defined how we do review and send things to the translations repo based on you know, the i'm gonna throw a i'm how gonna throw we... a bureaucratic flag on this because okay. we resolved this metric before there was a translations repo process <laughs> like mm -hmm. like this change was fully resolved in community discussion and so like i don't want to introduce a new I don't know. It's like the review process has gotten like Mars is starting to be a bit out there <laughs> if it's forcing us to do this kind of multiple repetitive reviews. Well, Mars isn't forcing us to do anything. Okay. Uh, I mean, this the, the translation process. The need, the, need, Mars? the need to do translations in general forces us to have some process where we make sure that they stay synced. I, I, so, uh, so and, and that's the only thing I'm talking about. I'm talking about how can we make sure they stay synced. I think opening an issue in the translations repo is the way to keep them synced, but I don't think that automatically triggers the community having to review something that they've already reviewed. One okay, so that's that's I, fine. <laughs> that's fine with me. I'm just I'm just talking through what the process is to get them to sync it. Okay. And, okay. and my point was we've we've defined the process for the review. We yeah. haven't defined a process for small edits, um, like that has, uh, or that, a collection that, of small edits, or yeah. Uh, I think I think we have. I th I think the process is we create an issue in the translations repo and say there's a, a minor change, and we can refer actually the translators to the pull requests that merge these minor changes, so that they know exactly what changed. And then they don't have to retranslate the entire thing. They can just see in the pull request the English words that were added or rearranged and make whatever, if any, translation adjustments are required by that change. So if we link to the pull request, we make it easy for the translators. See what I'm saying? Yep. So like if we go over here, so like, uh, hmm. So these are the two PRs, 422 and 425. Even the update readme needs to be like oh, translated I, so that can be. Is the readme, are they just translating metrics or are they translating the whole repo? Whole repo, I guess. Just, just metrics. I say, I thought it was just metrics. I think they are translating the readmes to like, you have a table in the readme pointing to the metrics. So they have the readmes in their translation. If you open a translation, you will see a readme. So you you have a uh, your focus areas have uh, a table. Yes. yes. You're translating those focus area tables. Yes. So that readme uh, is also being updated by the translation folks. 
Okay, yes. This is definitely yes. Chinese. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. But that's not that's not the full readme. That's Five. the folk that's the focus area readme. Yeah. Can you see is there any but if we changed our focus areas, then that would that would be the yes. that would yes. create the case. I see. Okay, this makes sense. So let's see if this changed the focus areas. Nope. This is the this is the main readme. It's not the focus area readme. No, so here's this, here's the hang on. Here we go. Co-development activity, co-development efficiency, process quality, issue resolution, community growth. Okay. And so what changed was it looks like we added dot m d and we changed dashes to underscores. Yeah. I, that, These are not translation issues uh, per se. Okay. These but were there, done to standardize the naming of the uh, MD files and all these files. Okay, that, that naming convention is incorrect. So we, we, use da we use dashes, we don't use underscores. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see, who did this change request? Then? I think I did it. Uh, I guess. Out. Yes. Armstrong signed I off. I blame Armstrong. I you can blame me too because I merged but, it. Yeah. But 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 like <laughs> I I I did it when I I I had opened that naming convention in front of me and I was looking at it and I was doing the name changing accordingly. Can so, you just look at it? Should okay. not be that way. All right. Well, I guess the way to check it would be to check another working group, right? Yeah. Let's try Commons. Commons seems to lead the way. Yep. So can you? See well, there's no. There they they only have single words for their focus area names. Okay. Um, but I, <clears throat> yeah. So that is a, okay. Fine. Uh, These are dashes. <clears throat> These are dashes. Okay. These are dashes. Hmm. And that's also involved in value. Let's see if this is just a Vinod problem. <laughs> so yeah. the, oh no, no it's, it's not. It's it's value has the dashes as well. So, oh, we, so we moved we moved everything to dashes to standardize. That was part of the uh yes. the standardization so we, yep. we got rid of the underscores and uh and moved to dashes so yep. the prior uh i think evolution was using underscores and maybe one other oh. working group was using underscores and everyone else was using dashes so uh, what i figured it out i made these changes earlier but the pull request not created and it was waiting for everyone to review or accept it and then i just moved it so this is what I think has happened. All right. So I'm just so these, yeah. but I guess the trick is that all the files underneath then would need to be, although wait a minute, focus areas, the actual folders have dashes in them. So this begs the question do those links go anywhere now? Also, once again, this, this, page, this readme is not being translated. Yeah. These pages uh, don't go anywhere because. No because they are pointing. All right, so I'm gonna, while we talk yeah. here, I'll create the patch with the dashes. Yep. <clears throat> um, Kevin, what else do we have on the agenda? Oh, uh, I actually haven't looked. Do we have an agenda document? I haven't, yeah, I haven't looked at I it. Not, I thought I shared it. I went to it. Did I not actually go over and share it? Somebody, sh oh. I, share, I shared it. Uh, October 19th. No, I signed in. I signed you in. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, from last week, uh, next metric to work on change request, change request commits. All right. So do we have a document for that? Uh, looks like we do. And then it says we have so review release metrics. We've already done that. Yep, done next up, that. work on change request metrics model. I'm assuming Sean added that. Yes. Okay. I did because that was the topic of 
metrics model working group. From last week, continue work on. Uh, so from last week, new metric on uh, view release metrics and oh, let's let's change that to review pull requests and issues, which we did or are doing. Uh, maybe, maybe let's go through the issues real quick. Yeah. And I'm gonna move. I'm gonna Can move you, this. Uh, you the, <clears throat> are you a co-host, Kevin? What's that? Can you? I am. Can not you share your screen? I guess Elizabeth, uh, you have to make Kevin a co-host. Oh yeah, I can share your screen. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I moved. Uh, so last from last week. So. Okay, so we already did that. Right now we're reviewing PRs and issues. So let, let's maybe finish doing that and then we'll move on to uh, change request commits metric, uh, work on change request metrics model. Uh, we're already done with this. And I did create a pull request to fix the README. Okay. I would, uh, I'm just verifying uh, that that does make it work. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, here we go. Uh, no, it does not. Wait. PR. The PR doesn't work. It doesn't make it work. Um, so now I have to figure out why that is. Focus areas is correct. Focus development activity is correct. OK, it's the dot MD. I have to do another push. It's supposed to just take you to the folder. There's no .md file. I have to search ah. again, so that pull request should not be merged yet. So I'm adding something to the agenda here. I would propose that we, each meeting, we go back and we review uh, one metric that has been released. Maybe just go through and read it, see if anything pops out at us as being, uh, as needing an edit. And I think that would that would satisfy the, uh, uh, we, we talked about, uh, Basically, going through all of the working groups, going through and uh, and looking at their their metrics. So, I mean, just looking at it together would I don't think it would take as long as actually editing or creating a metric. Yeah, you're suggest that going through the metric process that we discussed. If that's what you're talking about. Uh, just to to review our formally released metrics to see if they're stale. Yeah, don't merge that pull request yet. Something's still wrong. Okay, next up will be uh, iteration. Hey, Sean, should uh, that be 2022-03? Since we'll have a 
2022. That first issue that you just opened? Oh, uh, Kevin uh, opened the Kevin. issue. Or Kevin opened, sorry. Uh, thought, actually, it should yeah. be 04. Uh, I thought I changed it. Uh, it should be 2022 04. So the the review period will happen in March, uh, and the review will act the uh, release will actually happen the first week of April would be the plan. So the so it would be dated 04, mm -hmm. which I am having considerable trouble changing apparently. That's all right. I thought it was Sean still, so don't <laughs> just blame yes. him. I'm playing tricks on you because I'm trying to fix this README file. Yeah. So in our in our new in our new uh, the new uh, cadence uh, six months apart. So it's twenty two oh four and twenty two ten will be the next one. So it's basically the the release happens the first week of April and the first week of October. Uh, tentatively, if uh, if everything is ready, <laughs> and uh, I'll be honest with you, nothing is ever ready. So. It's always ready. It's not so. Ready. So the my my target is generally the the Ides the Ides of October and the Ides of April. So okay. Uh, change default. Uh, this okay. is done. This is so weird. So, this is the code. If you uh, <clears throat> this is the code you have to run on your local machine. Yeah. Uh, if you have a local clone. To make the right. so you're not so you're not still uh, I, pushing I it to a, master. I have stopped keeping a local clone because it was giving me a DCO errors. So I'm just doing it on web UI now, which is not giving me a DCO error. That's where I'm like, okay, let me do it from web UI. Uh, name change, code change commits. This happened, right? Uh, and we don't need a review on this. However, uh, oh, new issue. Oops. going on here oh it's fun they finished it huh okay so the there's a we, we talked about doing this I didn't realize that they had finally implemented this uh, so we have a we actually have a template for updating translations However, the, the template is linked to the uh, uh, the review process. So if we use that one that looks like this, link to candidates release metric translations team, pretty easy remove language label. This issue can be closed when all translations are done, labels are removed. Change affected work group metric area focus name. Uh, yeah, let's use this. Let me just change uh, that. Okay, so this is a uh, name change. Correct. Uh, this is evolution. And uh, should we use the new one, right? So it's a. Uh, uh, Oh, we did issues. Issues new. Oh, uh, okay. This one is going to be uh, header. Header edit. Evolution issues new. And what's the focus area for that? Focus area for which one? Issues new. That's uh, would be under the code development process. Or no, don't we have a, hang on a second. It is an issue resolution focus area. So that would seem to be 
where that would fit. She's new. Yeah, six name is issue name. Uh, so this is the this is the bit the readme. There's a bunch of old master links in it as well. Yeah. So this is the readme that that is included in the uh, in the translation. So any changes to this readme here? Uh, or any of the readmes within these do need to be translated. So with like with the changes that I'm making right now, these they are merely changes. I'm not changing any in the README. Yeah, you don't need not to change any words. And it's not a, and it's not a document that will be translated. So you don't need to worry about that at all. Uh, link to metrics release issue. Uh, this is no issue. So I'm going to link to uh, the PR. I'm just going to make a comment. This isn't part of a review. Uh, oh. And this was uh, what was what was that uh, issue resolution? issue again. Okay, and this one is uh, metric name change. Uh, what was this one? This one is This one, right? Code development activity. Code changes commits. Okay. Code requests. Code changes commits. Code development activity. Okay. Uh, metric revision name change. Okay. Standard structure for Read me in each group. Anand, did you do this? That's what is that what you were doing here? Uh 
Yep. This is the README app which Sean is fixing right now. Yeah, I'm fixing it, but oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like so, not wanting to be fixed. Okay, so we'll leave that open for a moment. Uh, add yeah, new. Hopefully, I get it here. What's this? This is a new metric idea. Or this is recommending edits to some existing metrics. So time to first response. I want to, is this, would this basically be a filter for labels or tags? So adding a label or tag could be a first response. Is that what they're saying? I yes. think that's what they're saying, yes. Yes, I think so too. How many labels or tags, how many labels or tags are attached to okay, so this these these two up top, these two bullet points are uh this is this is this actually would be a metric. So this would the, the metric itself would actually be labels. Uh and then we could add it as a filter in time to first response uh, but this here i think would be a new metric and i and i'm not sure I'm not sure the how many labels or tags is the right question i think the uh rather than a how many i think a what would be a better question for that metric what labels what labels and tags are attached to an issue or pull request uh, so it could include a count, but I think there would need to be a discussion of uh, what the tags are. Just just saying there are five five labels on a PR doesn't tell you anything of value. So why is this associated with a PR? My pull request now works six commits later. There was that, our readme was all kinds of messed up. 403 didn't exist. Uh, do I need to maybe merge it? Oh, there it is. Underscore. There we go. Okay. Dang. I'm making sure that it works in practice as well as it did in my testing. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh. What's that? I think code development activity, I have an error. Yeah, the code development activity apparently was the one. These links were all kinds of messed up. And all but one of them, one of them apparently did have the GitHub link full throttle on it, but the others didn't. So now the one that did has it twice, it looks like. So yes, it does. Fix that and do another pull request. <coughs>
Uh, uh, there is a new pull request that should that will fix the issue <coughs> that the one issue that remained. This is a meta. The is HTTPS a... GitHub link was in there twice for one of them because apparently it existed previously. And it labels. What an exciting meeting. I just, I edited, I changed one of our labels and, and I'm sure you, you can probably see me doing it, but I changed, we had a, we had a label called metric, which I assume the purpose for metric is actually to discuss new metric ideas. So I changed it to new metric ideas and I am uh, labeling the, uh, yeah. Yeah, Those I mean, that's two. Uh, I have new yeah. metrics for mapping, new metric line impact. Yep, and then this one is a new metric as well. Okay. And I think all of these new metric ideas are valid. I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we we had gone through and kind of mapped out what we wanted to do at some point. Um, we're running out of time here, so I don't think we need yeah. to do that now. So I think our issues are all up to date. Right. Let's. Our, uh... We'll hit the issues next time in the, the emoji. Pull request for that's right. Uh, okay. Uh, so we reviewed our, yeah, so we reviewed our PRs and issues. Uh, change request. Our readme now works, which it did not apparently for the last month. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, so maybe, maybe in the last minutes here, maybe we just uh, set the agenda for next next meeting. Uh, and the. I would say the three things that we have on the agenda are these bottom three. So work on the change request commits metric. We could start some work on change request metrics model. And then we can, uh, maybe if we have time, we can review a uh, previously released metric. November 2nd is the next date. And I will not be here for that meeting. I will be at Open Source Community Summit. Uh, November 2nd? Yep. Yeah, Community Summit is the 2nd to the 4th. So, Kevin or Bernard, if you can, or Elizabeth, if you can run this meeting. We will carry on. All right. I think that's about that about wraps it up for our housekeeping meeting today. <laughs> I will send you I will send you some work on the emoji metric before the next meeting so that you have something to talk about me with. Okay. Maybe, oh, so maybe we'll add that as a to do. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. let's do this. Uh, the issues. Nice. Uh, yes, yeah, no metric. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I will catch you all in the community meeting in 10 minutes, in all likelihood. Awesome.